All right, today we're gonna do some yummy, yummy, yummy fudge. And it's actually completely, not only healthy, but it's actually really good for you. And you'll see benefits in your skin as well, your hair, um, there are a lot of nutrients in this recipe. So, cool. And I put this in first, and whatever's left, <laughs> afterwards I'll put it on my lips, I'll put it around my lips, I'll put it on my neck, put it on my hands. Um, oh, I love this stuff. It's so good, especially if you have ex eczema or um, dermatitis, which most hairstylists do. I do. Um, you'll love it. Okay, now we're going to add agave nectar. And you can use brown rice syrup, you could use honey. Um, if you use honey, I would go a little bit less than a cup just because it's a a much sweeter taste, so but they'll go for it. Okay, and now we're gonna add one cup of coconut, and this is unsweetened coconut, and um, you could do the flakes or the shredded, it doesn't matter, because they're gonna blend. They're gonna blend right in, <laughs> so they're gonna keep disappearing. This glass bubble, let your... Now, um, I'm going to add um, carob powder and carob is actually kind of a chocolate sub substitute. It's quite bitter. Um, it will give you that really rich, rich chocolatey taste, um, but it's a lot better for you. So um, I'm using um, I don't know how to measure this, but not I'm using three quarters of a half of a cup. <laughs> so I have a half, half cup and then I only fill it about three quarters of the way. And then the last quarter of it, I'm going to add some cocoa. And actually, what I'm not, what I'm adding is, is cacao. It's, it's actually more, it's better for you than cocoa, but it gives you that that pure flavor of the cocoa. So, okay, so I add that in. Just my time. Okay, so you just mix those together until they look good. <laughs> Real science here. Um, and then I'm going to add a cup of almonds, raw organic almonds. Um, there's a better way to do that. <laughs> okay, I'll just dump them in. But I should these in last because I, I like them to barely be ground in to the recipe. Okay, and I'm just going to hit this really lightly. I don't want them to be too finely chopped. So. And you're done. <laughs> now you just pour it into a pan. You don't have to grease the pan or anything. <laughs> Complete with the uh, blade and all. Just be careful with that blade, actually. It's very, very sharp. This is really, really rich. I actually, this is a great recipe. If, you, if you're trying to get away from sugar, um, this is a great recipe to do it on. If you're a chocolate lover and um, just feel like you can't part with that, try this because you will fall in love. And I actually just keep this in my freezer. I put it, I refrigerate it for a couple hours, and then um, and then after that it's good to go. But I I actually keep some in my refrigerator or in my freezer all the time, and that way um, I can take it out of the freezer and just within you know maybe an hour or two I have fudge ready to go. So if I have people show up, you know, if I have guests that come, or if if I'm working on a film and I I know that there's going to be a lot of junk food around and I don't really want to eat it, um, I'll take this as a substitute and it just totally satisfies my appetite. But this is actually not just good for your health, it's actually good for your skin and your hair, your nails. And the, the crazy thing is we don't, we kind of separate our health from our, um, you know, what we do to take care of our beauty. And, and the truth is what we put into our bodies is going to be reflective on the outside as well. So beauty from within means everything, the way that we eat, the way that we think, um, the way that we become. And so anyway, join us at Nature's Knockout and that little subscribe button, ding, hit it please. Anyway, we'd love to have you join us. Thanks so much. See ya. And I pray.